Now to that chaos at a Missouri Walmart, a man in military style clothing, carrying tactical weapons, walking into a store, of course, sending customers fleeing. ABC's Gio Benitez is here with more. And Gio, thank, thankfully, there was this off-duty firefighter who was on the scene. Yeah, thank goodness, Michael. Good morning. Yeah, that off-duty firefighter happened to be there. He was armed and was able to hold the suspect at gunpoint until police arrived. This with a nation on high alert as the FBI warns of possible copycats. This morning, another American town on edge. Watch as a young man donning body armor, military fatigues, and carrying an assault rifle approaches Missouri police with his hands in the air, eventually dropping to his knees, surrendering. He certainly had the capability and the potential to harm people. Police quickly detaining him. He was carrying more than 100 rounds of ammunition. Police say that at 410 Thursday afternoon, the man, appearing to be in his 20s, entered a Walmart donning that tactical gear. Authorities arrived three minutes later after the first call. Male wearing a bulletproof vest and an AR around his neck has just walked into the store and is recording himself. All we know is the facts is that he walked in here heavily armed with body armor on in military fatigues and, uh, and caused... Uh, a great amount of panic inside. Julie Ballou had just pulled into the Walmart parking lot when she spotted the suspect. I was about to get out of my car when I heard a voice off to my left say, is that a rifle? Is that a real rifle? And so I looked up and I saw the person to my left was holding a gun. Go, 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 the recent threat coming just days after a weekend of deadly shootings, one occurring at a Walmart in El Paso, Texas, that left 22 people dead. Thankfully, no one in Springfield was injured. The Walmart manager pulling a fire alarm, urging shoppers and customers to flee. And we don't know of any motive just yet, but just this week, the FBI held a call with law enforcement agencies across the country and said they remain, quote, concerned that U.S.-based domestic violent extremists could become inspired by this weekend's attack. We are a country on edge yeah. right now. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.